written hearts. Yes. Well, pardon, pardon me. You've been affected like this yourself, haven't you, at times? <laughs> no, Catherine. Well, you will be. That's the way I feel about it. I don't want anything elaborate, just a little place that I can call home and tell the wife I won't be there for dinner. Because I feel you are the most able statesman of all Fredonia. Well, that covers a lot of ground. Say, you cover a lot of ground yourself. Stockholders, huh? Well, you look like a couple of stowaways to me. Well, don't forget, my fine fellow, that the stockholder of yesteryear is the stowaway of today. Well, you look exactly like them. Yeah, what do they look like? One of them goes around with a black mustache. So do I. If I had my choice, I'd go around with a little blonde. I said one goes around with a black mustache. Well, you couldn't expect a mustache to go around by itself. What is it, Captain? Would you wash out a pair of socks for me? job five minutes and already she's making advances to me. Not that I care, but where is your husband? Why, he's dead. I'll bet he's just using that as an excuse. I was with him till the very end. <laughs> no wonder he passed away. I held him in my arms and kissed him. Oh, I see. Then it was murder. Will you marry me? Did he leave you any money? Answer the second question first. He left me his entire fortune. Is that so? Can't you see I'm trying to tell you I love you? Well, the first thing a salesman needs is a new car. Oh, naturally. I just happen to have a nice sedan that's a steal at $300, and uh -huh. I ought to know because I'm the one that stole it. <laughs> well, I'm not buying, so don't waste your time. But it's a great car. It's a new 1920 Hudson. The only car that steps down and gets under you. 